it's Mo, and I'm here today at the beautiful Opelo Vineyard on the Central Coast, located right here in Paso Robles. It's a beautiful afternoon. Everyone needs to come out and enjoy everything Opelo has to offer. There's an expansive tasting room, beautiful rolling vines here at the vineyard. So I'm hanging out here with one of the owners, David, who's going to tell us about much of the amenities that they have to offer here at Opelo. How's it going today, David? It's going awesome. Thank Good you. to have you here. Aw, thank you for having us. So if you don't mind telling our viewers what you have going on here, there's so much. I look around, there's a lot of excitement happening. Oh, well, we've got a lot of tasting going on today. We have food going on in the patio here, and so we're doing wine tasting on the patio. And we have a distillery, and so we're doing distillery tasting in that tasting room. And so there's a lot going on. So anyway, people go wine tasting out here and they get time to get a little bit hungry. We're out in the middle of nowhere, so um, it's a nice stop. You also offer a view from the top. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, that's in the middle of our Pinot Noir vineyard. So we have about a little over an acre up there that's uh, all grass. And um, yeah, so we do, uh, we have tents we put up there if you want to have a wedding or something like that up there. I'm hanging out here with Paul in front of the Distilled Spirits Tasting Room at Opelo Vineyards, where he is the actual distiller himself. How long is it that you've been doing this here at Opelo? This is so awesome, it's so new. Well, we've been distilling for about four years, and uh, we just recently opened our tasting room about a month ago. Um, it's, it's gonna be a way for us to help sell the spirits, but uh, we've all been enthusiasts of distilled spirits for a long time now. How many distilled spirits do you offer here at the tasting room? Currently we have three products. Uh, we have our walnut liqueur, which is um, from walnuts grown on our property. We also have an estate Muscat Blanc Grappa, and we also have pear brandy, which are made from pears from Northern California. I'm here with one of the owners and one of the guys behind the magic. This is Rick. Rick, I'm so excited about the food. So what are we looking at? Uh, this is one of the three offerings that we do of oysters here at Opelo. We do oysters Rockefeller, oysters Casino, and oysters Raw. Uh, this is actually our chabapi platter. The aroma. Which is, uh, you'd find this in uh, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro. It's almost like a quarter pounder. Uh, this is one of Opelo's uh, margarita pizzas. And we make them from scratch. We make the dough three days in advance and we let it ferment, raise and uh, gives you a really a nice texture, great flavor. I would actually like to know the meaning behind the name Opelo. Well, it depends on what day I tell you. All right, so, <laughs> pray uh, do so, tell. So we have Marco Opelo. Mark, you've heard kids play Marco Polo? Yes. So we've got Opelo. Opelo. Uh, they also make a rosé styled wine back in Croatia on the island of Far, and it's called Farski Opelo. Good afternoon, I'm Jeff Faber, National Sales Manager for Opelo Vineyards here in Paso Robles. One of the greatest adventures you could ever have is coming out to a vineyard. This is where you have an opportunity to bring your very best. And one of the things that we love to do here at Opelo is celebrate life. This is all about you, all about everyone that comes out here today. It's about the grapes, it's about the experiences, it's about the romance, it's about the food. It's about a celebration of life and that is what we do. Opelo means fun, that life is short, and you're supposed to celebrate every single moment and that's what we do here at Opelo. It's all about the customers, it's all about living and that's why we always say, Opelo! Opelo! Opelo!